My name is Nitin Mahobia and I'm microbiologist and director of the infection prevention unit in University Hospital Southampton. Now I'm going to show you um, uh, our perso respirator and I have to emphasize this is a very important uh, uh, personal protective equipment or PPE. Um, uh, and just to show you briefly what are the components and how it works. So it has a HEPA filter and a battery pack. So and there is an air pump which actually uh, uh, cleans the air and push in clean air and the clean air goes inside in this plastic tube into this headpiece or the hole. And the whole idea about uh, uh, respirator is that you get three levels of protection. One is the air inside the headpiece is very clean um, and, uh, and the second one is that it also acts as a face visor protecting you from droplets and uh, uh, aerosols. And the third level of protection is that when a, a, a healthcare worker is wearing the respirator, they can't touch their uh, face with contaminated hands. So there are three levels of uh, protection. So in summary, when you're using this properly, this device could be life-saving. So when you open the box, The first thing you will see is uh, uh, the hood and you can have a close look at the hood and this is the attachment for the tube this is the respirator which is the main part of the um, uh, equipment um, and as you can see it has very simple button on and off switch there is a display and also a warning sign and also the attachment for the tube the flexible tube and that's your HEPA filter and there is a shoulder harness here this is the battery pack which is a lithium ion battery and for this buttons here this is the charger for your um, uh, uh, battery and has an indicator light. This is your flexible tube and you see you can use uh, the attachment which is provided and is very flexible. And an important part is the air flow tester and you can see there's a little marble and there is marking to say actually when uh, when you get the right uh, airflow. This is the charger and this is the battery pack. And battery pack has this charging pin here. The red light uh, indicates the battery pack is charging. And when it's fully charged, the light becomes green. It takes up to three and a half hours for the full charging. So this is the respirator and the battery goes in this part. You can see there are slots. And the battery slides just like this in the respirator. And then you can lock the battery with a little switch here. Now when the power is on, you can see a display. In the display, um, uh, it shows a fully charged battery. Then also it's a fan and, and, and the triple zero says there's no airflow. And if there's any warning, one of the light will start flashing. So turn the unit on, you just press the on button once and you can see it's turning on. You can also connect the flexible hose with a clockwise motion and when it's working well you can actually feel the air coming from uh, uh, the, uh, the flexible hose and this is the airflow tester you can attach this And now it's, you can see it's going all the way to the top. So that suggests it's a very good airflow, which is the device is all ready to use. Okay. 
you can also attach the end of the flexible hose to the headpiece like this airflow alarm test so you cover when the unit is running you keep your hand tightly here covering the the tube and you can see the pump is working very hard to maintain the flow keep on pressing it till you hear an alarm it can take up to 15 seconds and you can see the alarm light is flashing and also the um, um, the filter HEPA filter icon is flashing and that shows that um, uh, uh, the alarm is working well and it's back to the normal function now.